Hello everybody, it's time for the next uh just YouTube video, I guess. I was about to say Guardian Gauntlet, but this is not the Guardian Gauntlet. This is a it's an everyday normal YouTube video. Uh, we are gonna be showing off the new Ymir changes and you know I've been get, I've been being flooded with what are your thoughts on the Ymir change? And I've been flooded in my stream as well as on YouTube with these comments. And after much thought and consideration. All right, you know, it's okay. Like, you know, he says you put his wall up, it goes down. Uh huh. Okay. Um, the reality of it is that it doesn't change much when it comes to duel. It's probably conquest where it makes the biggest choice because then you can wall someone off, bait their escape, let your team through. Um, also, people have, have good ideas for combos where, like, you could have Nox. Ymir puts up his wall, Nox alts. You put the wall down as Nox alt flies. Kind of interesting things like that but it doesn't change much in duel it's mainly the alt change all change is really good against melee gods it is a lot of times your mirror would be about to die and you don't right click like you're off by like a millisecond and you don't get the damage from the alt so that really sucks but now you get damage out of the way which i think is the way it should work um people i i see a lot of comments saying that that removes counterplay and i feel like ymir being able to cancel out a millisecond before he dies is like I agree with Ajax. It's not skill, it's luck. So I'm glad that that's changed. That's a that's something that I never even thought about. You know, that's like yeah, that's kind of a weird thing. That's shouldn't be shouldn't be with him. Yep, that's hell. Okay. Uh, this matchup, I just I hate fighting hell in general because of her two and everything and her the insane damage she has. Um, my strategy against Hell is just go pure auto attack with upgraded sprint to catch up with her with Toxic Blade and Divine Ruin. Usually I can beat Hell late game like that. But if I'm not paying attention enough, I usually do get first blooded in matchups like this because she just has so much unexpected damage, you know? You could also start Bracer in this matchup, but I feel like starting sprint and help you get an early kill where she's just barely slips away, which happens a lot against Hell. Yeah, I personally really hate the hate fighting Hell. My opinion at first with the Ymir change was I really didn't like it because I felt like I felt like the main reason for it was for bad Ymirs when they use their wall wrong, they could just be like, "Oh, I messed up." And take it down but no there's a lot more uses to it than that that's really like i said it's really not that big of a deal it's not a big buff it's not a small buff this is not gonna do anything oh did half her health i guess i could probably stay for red we'll put a ward that way she knows it's there what we're going to do is we're going to clear this wave, and with Hunter's Blessing and my last ticking mana potion, I should be able to take red. And she'll have to back. She has n nowhere near enough um, MP5. Alright, cool. Also, a lot of people from YouTube have been coming out to my Twitch channel, and I really appreciate you guys dropping by. I'm a lot more active on Twitch. I like I, I just like being able to interact with people like instantaneously and be able to see how their day's going. And it's a lot easier to do that on Twitch than it is on YouTube. Like obviously if you leave a YouTube comment I can reply, but it's it's not the same. So I appreciate you guys doing that. Um I don't mean to neglect you YouTube. What basically happens is uh I'll want to upload a video, but then I'll have to choose between waiting Waiting an hour to render it, waiting an hour to upload it, or two hours to upload it. When I could just start stream right away, you know? And I used to try to record the videos a day ahead of time, but sometimes that doesn't work as well because things that I want to talk about will change based on whatever day I'm recording. I want to use my tube, I don't want her to juke it. Okay, good. People underestimate how hard that ability is to hit. Ymir's 2 is really hard to hit if you don't use your freeze. Because it's really easy to tell where it's going to land. And it's really easy to tell um, 
it's really easy to tell what okay where it's gonna land it roots you mirror so you can't move and you can basically if you're paying attention you have enough time to just 180 in your direction and dodge it 100 percent but again if the gimir is good enough you can try to make it look like he's gonna throw it one way and then switch last millisecond and they don't they still can have the reaction times it's just not easy it's just not it's just harder for them to react but either way it's a hard ability to hit without any assistance from other abilities with the wall the wall makes it easier to hit and the freeze makes it easier to hit also we're back to using this skin i've been using the chibi skin for for a long time okay she's gonna use her too oh or that i'm okay with either of those i'm guessing she probably already used her too and i wasn't paying attention sprint to catch up this is not upgrade sprint so it's not gonna help that much yeah that sucks the reason i was holding alt there so long is because is because with her movement speed she could just kind of walk out of it pretty fast it wouldn't have done enough damage and it it would have it would have widened the distance between me and her, and I, need, I needed to stay right next to her. Pretty important. But we're coming back. Okay, so this is actually... I think this is the only matchup I go hasten ring. I don't, I, won't, I don't always need it, but... If the hell goes a very specific, like, movement speed healing build, I need to stick to her, like... What's, what's the term? Like, butter on bread? I don't know. I need to stick there. I can't let her get away. You can use your two. There it is. I'm not always going to outweigh the two, but I want her to think I'm going to. I want in her mind to think that I'm going to wait for her to every time. That way, in future engagements, she's like, oh, he's going to wait. So I'm just going to not use it. And then I'll use my freeze when she's not expecting it and then kill her. It's always good in matchups that have like play and counterplay to not do the same thing in every single engagement because then they're going to be prepared. So I've been waiting on the freeze. Now I'm probably going to start using it more. Also, I'm going to value Toxic Blade over defense here because it'll give me more move speed, health, and of course, anti-heal. Oh, let's get this as well. Terrific. There is never enough anti-heal against hell, okay? I promise you because there's going to be times where I can't apply Divine Rune. Like I miss my freeze and I can't get any other ability on her so i have that missed so i need to pop her stock or or i can't get an auto on her and she's about to heal and plus her stock gives me increased damage which is amazing but most importantly hell passive gives i think it is 25 percent increased healing just by being in light stance um you know when the passive is charged so if she goes rod of Sophius, she has 150 percent healing and toxic blade alone would bring it down to 110 percent Plus, Curse Donk would bring it down to 60%. So she's still healing 60% with Toxic Blade and Curse Donk. So there really isn't enough anti-heal against hell. Ooh, too fast. Too fast. It's a bad deal. It was a bad idea, but I realized that I had committed too far and that I was like, I need to kill her. I'm going to die. I need to kill her. I got the kill. Pretty lucky. But um, when she went back here, I should disengage. I should have either walked away this way or left, but I stayed aggressing, which was kind of stupid to me, but that's okay. Mistakes happen. Also, if anyone's wondering my rank right now, I am in gold because of matchmaking reset. Basically, matchmaking reset, and I had a bunch of god requests where I wasn't allowed to go defense. And uh, I'm in gold right now, so I gotta climb my way back up. I'm sure I'll get back to diamond pretty soon. And I've only been masters once. A lot of people are uh, get that confused. I've never been grandmaster. I would like to be grandmaster at least once, but uh, I'm pretty content. I don't, I don't care about rank that much. I do like to be at least high plat, high diamond. Or high plat, low diamond as my minimum. Because then I feel like there's more 
authenticity to my games? Yeah. Other than that, I don't really care. Like, right now, matchmaking's really weird because of the reset, and I'm going against people that are around my skill level, just the rankings are different, you know? Movement speed, though. Yeah, so if I had hasting ring here, I would be able to auto-attack her this entire time without stopping. Whereas I'm, I'm having to stop every now and then. That was great. Oh, she used it. She used it a millisecond too early. Oh my goodness. That was a good game. Um, It's sad that she f 6 but honestly, I had that minion wave. Would have pushed. Got some of Phoenix. She would have respawned. I would have just pressured Demon King. If she... One thing about Ymir versus Hell is the wall is very strong. So if she tried to steal it from me, I could just wall her off and put her in a horrible position. Um, I will tell you guys the build I would go against Hell. Because I use, this used to be one of my hardest matchups. And I almost always win it late game now. Unless I'm going against, like, Paul or something. Uh, Hunter's Blessing, Bancroft's Shoes of Focus. And then you basically go into attack speed, movement speed, rings. Um, this, you could go Pestilence first. Or Toxic Blade. I've had success with Toxic Blade. Just because, you know, the damage you output by the way i would then get pestilence then i'd get demonic or hasten ring if i'm doing tons of damage demonic if she's mitigating too much and then the other one whichever one i didn't get so either hasten or demonic and sell boots for telkins or sell boots for even like poly or something like that and then make sure to upgrade sprint and whenever she's about to get away you pop sprint hold let hold m1 you know the whole windmill ymir really does wonders in this matchup um, the thing you gotta look out for is, funnily enough, is if Hell gets Phantom, because those li those crucial times where you wall her off, she can just Phantom and go through, and then you won't be able to engage with her. Stupid damage? Yep. <laughs> Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you come by Twitch stream. It's, it's a party, and I'll see you guys next time.